Dear God, we pray for world leaders that they would seek justice and peace and make wide decisions for the good of all people. We pray for the sick and needy, especially people affected by the pandemic around the world, that they will be cared for and given hope. We pray for our school community that as we recall the Christmas story together, we would experience God's joy and peace. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. From the prophet Micah, chapter 5. Out of you, Bethlehem will come, one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. He will stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. We will live in peace for his greatness will reach to the ends of the earth. From the prophet Isaiah, chapter 9. To us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere, go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. The angels sang his praises, saw the heavenly light, oh, oh, all around him, in Bethlehem that night, go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. hills and everywhere go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born go tell it on the mountain over the hills and everywhere go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born that Jesus Christ is born that Jesus Christ is born Luke chapter 1. 
God sent the angel Gabriel to the town of Nazareth, to a girl pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The girl's name was Mary, the angel said. Greetings, you, you who are highly favoured. The Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favour with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will call him Jesus, which means God saves. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am not married? The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. I am the Lord's servant. May it be to me according to your word. From Luke chapter 2. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest heaven, heaven and, and on earth peace and goodwill. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger.
from Matthew chapter 2. Wise men from the east arrived in Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose, and have come to worship him. So King Herod called together all the chief priests and teachers of the law. He asked them where the Saviour was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, For this is what the prophet has written, Out of you, Bethlehem, will come a ruler who will shepherd my people in Israel. After the wise men had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gold, frankincense and myrrh. A message from our sponsor. If you have enjoyed our lessons and carols from Grammar, please make a donation to the Christmas Bowl Appeal and add to the Grammar Total. From St Paul's letter to Titus, the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to live self-controlled, upright and godly lives while we wait for the blessed hope, the return of the glory of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us.